Thank you. Today is International Women's Day. In tonight's Aloha Authentic, we honor the women of Hawaii's past who helped pave the way for future generations. Here's Kamakapili. We all make use of our island roadways, but when was the last time you paid attention to their given names? Did you know you could learn more about Hawaii and our history if you did? Well, our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets across the islands so we can dig into those names and in turn, learn something we may have never known before. This week, we highlight some of Hawaii's Manawahine. In the Ahupua'a of Kalihi, which lies in the moku of Kona here on Oahu, stands a street given the name which translates as woman. We're talking about Wahine Place. Here are just a few Manawahine, or powerful women, who have influenced the course of Hawaii's history. At the time of Captain Cook's arrival, Hawaii was split between four kingdoms, three of which were ruled by men. Kamakahele was the only woman, and that of the highest rank, ruling Kauai and Niihau for 24 years. She was believed to be in possession of a secret and most powerful prayer that was feared by all, called Ane'e Kapuahi. Keopuolani was the most sacred wife of King Kamehameha and the highest ranking chief during her lifetime. She was so sacred that her shadow was as well. If anyone came in contact with it, their fate was the death penalty. She would become one of the first Hawaiians to be converted to Christianity, being baptized prior to her death. As the missionaries' influence spread throughout the islands, one woman remained steadfast to traditional beliefs. Princess Ruth Ke'eli Kolani, the largest and richest woman in Hawaii during her day, chose to be addressed only in Hawaiian. Following her passing, her wealth was bequeathed to her cousin, Princess Bernice Powahi Bishop, who then established the Kamehameha Schools, which has been serving Hawaii's keiki since 1887. Did you know? Now you do.